Hey there, this is Tuko Motion, and today I want to show you a quick tip on how you can import your characters uh, from Character Creator to Unity. And I will mainly focus on a little issue that you may see when you import them to Unity, as you can see here on the screen. Um, it's that the character don't come with any textures applied to the mesh. Well, this is not really a big issue, it's really easy to fix, so let's get started. Well, I assume that you will uh, use 3D Exchange to export your characters. So, in general, create your character in Character Creator, send it to iClone, make your animations or whatever, and then edit it in 3D Exchange to um, yeah to export it using the FBX export settings here. Well, in general, you will use the Unity 3D preset here and you should pay close attention to the embed media uh, section here. By default it is always checked and it will embed the textures into the FBX file. But we don't want this so uncheck this um, setting here and maybe just let's increase the texture size a little bit and then give the file a proper name. I will call it over from 3D Exchange here and then let's save it. Okay and then we will find this in the location. Maybe let's, let's get rid of this old one here and you will see the FBX file and the corresponding uh, folder with all the textures from the character. All you need to do now is to drag and drop both files to Unity. This will last some seconds, so let's just wait and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. Well, Unity will uh, give you a little window here asking if it should fix the normal map uh, because we exported it with normal maps so just press fix now and that's it and as you can see here we have the character now with the corresponding texture folder and if you apply it to the scene you have a fully textured fully textured character again well there may be some problems when you export directly from character creator using the export to FBX cloth character settings here. So let's do this by over from CC. Okay, let's save it. And this is the same process uh, when you export it from 3D Exchange using the embed textures settings. So if you check the file then you will have the ogre from CC FBX and here is is a corresponding texture folder but this folder is empty so there are no textures here and also Unity you know, would not be able to work with this folder structure so we can get rid of this folder so let's delete it like so and then we only have the FBX file with the more or less embedded textures here so let's bring this to unity and let's see what we have just some seconds again okay here we are and as you can see here we have the FBX file, but it is not textured at all, as you can see. Well, this is really easy to fix. So just click on the FBX file in Unity and go to your inspector uh, uh, window and then to the materials tab. And for the location, by default, it uses the embedded materials, but we need to change this to use mat external materials legacy and then press apply. 
So this will last also again some seconds. So let Unity work while we are waiting. Here we are. Well, you may see that there seems no really no change at all um, because there's some kind of thing we need to do. I don't know if this is some kind of bug in Unity, but we need to um, minimize the window. And then you will see if you then just click on Unity again, you will see that Unity is working, it's doing something here. So let's end this and then bring it up again. And now if you check your, uh, your assets folder, you will have a ogre from CC texture folder with all the textures in it. Well, Unity just created it automatically for you. So, but it's not applied to the to the character mesh at all. So all you need to do now is for the naming, go to model name plus models material and press apply again. And then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as you can see now Unity has fixed all the issues and has applied textures to the character mesh. So you could go back to used embedded materials again, apply this again. Just some seconds. Okay, and now if you bring in the character from your asset to your scene, you will always have a fully textured, a fully textured, textured character. That's it. I hope uh, this helps a little bit to solve this little issue here in Unity. And yeah, have fun with your characters in Unity and see you soon. Bye bye.